Well, hello everyone. It's Joni here at Joni's Journals. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I spent the morning and most of the day uh, preparing for my last video in which we made these cute little uh, five pocket pockets, <laughs> which is what I ended up calling them last time. <laughs> I will have, of course, the um, correct name for them uh, listed on the video, the name of the video. But yeah, we made these and we used some of the papers from Tracy's kit, the Creepy Creep kit. And so, yeah, we had some fun with those. But also at the end of those, I'm just going to move you up just a smidge because I feel like I'm in your face. Um, at the end of that video, I did tell you that I was going to come back with a video on something that I created um, using her paper. And I just thought it would be kind of fun. And what I had done was I made a coffin tag or a coffin tag, whatever you'd like to say, however you want to call it. And I will have a freebie on my Kofi, and I will show you that too. Um, I created the little coffin tags and created a freebie that'll be on my Kofi along with another um, thing that I'm going to be adding to my uh, Kofi, which um, I may just add that as a freebie too. I went in and I used my computer and I typed up some words, which I did use on these. I made little tombstones um, and I did add that as part of the freebie. But some of these are some of the cards that I made and they are relatively simply decorated. Um, you could, of course, do a lot more decorating on them, but I wanted to make them simple to start so that everyone would be able to make them using the freebie, okay? And so, yeah, you can see they're all little, cute little, well, I guess if you want to call a coffin cute, um, cute little coffin-shaped tags, and they tuck into this pocket here, which is what I'm going to show you how to make in this video. Now, what I did was I've been watching a lot of um, the... Uh, Simon Says Stamp and Scrapbook.com. And of course, if you know me, I did go a little crazy and I have bought a lot of dies and stamps over the past two weeks. Excuse me, I just need to take a drink. And so, yeah, I've been watching a lot of the videos of people making things using dies and stamps and not everyone has dies. Not everyone has a die cutting machine. So I sat last weekend and I worked it out and I designed the coffin. Um, I did have one that I did before this. Um, I laid them out and I did all the measuring. And so I ultimately came up with a design and then I started playing with making some tombstones and things and did some measuring. I do have, um, I thought I had the other one in here too, but I did create two different styles of tombstones and I guess it's not here after all. Um, but yeah. And so I came up with the freebie, which is the coffin. Um, it's on my Kofi. Please remember that it is hand drawn. Um, and what will be up on the Kofi will be a copy of the hand-drawn coffin and the hand-drawn tombstones. And what you're going to use them for ultimately, see, I traced them onto vellum paper as well so that I could work with them. What you're going to ultimately end up with is three little stencils for two different styles of a tombstone and one for the coffin. Okay, and I'll put them, like I said, they'll be free on my Kofi if you want to donate or if you feel like you want to pay for them, that's completely up to you. But yeah, these will be going up. Okay, so we'll have the coffin freebie and we'll have the tombstone freebies. And then what I also did was I went on to my computer and I created some little phrases um, and words 
that you can use on the pockets and on the coffins, of course. You can see here, I use the word curiosity on the little pocket. And on the coffin, I put oddities shop. Okay, and those words are on here too. Shop, oddities, and whoop, let me tuck this back in. Come on, get in there. Okay, and then on this one, I put the trick or treat. And on here, I put ghostly. So yeah, I just went in, played around with the fonts on my computer, and I created the little spooky words. And here's one with the tombstone and got, you know, very creative. Here lies Fred, he's dead. <laughs> and then I also have um, here lies John, he's gone. Okay, so yeah, go over and check them out. And like I said, they are free. All donations are gladly accepted. <laughs> but what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to use all of those things and create the pocket and also create the little tombstone tag. So what you're gonna need to create your pocket is you're going to need a piece of paper that's six inches wide by five and a half inches high. And now you can either fold it in half or I'm just gonna grab out my scoreboard because with my luck, it will not come out even. And I'm gonna take my scoreboard and my score tool and I'm gonna score at three, just so that I know that my tag, my pocket rather, will fold over evenly and nicely and it will be three inches wide on both sides. Okay, I'm gonna move my scoreboard away and I'm just gonna grab my plastic <laughs> bone folder and I'm just gonna push down this crease like so so that it's nice and flat okay and we will make our little tag our little pocket first I keep saying tag I'm just gonna ink around the edges because I forgot to do that and then we're gonna make our little peekaboo hole and we're gonna use a two inch hole punch to do that. And I'm just gonna finish inking really quick around the edges of this. Yes, I know the edges are black and you can't really see the inking, but if I show you the other one that I did ahead of time where I inked it, this one I used the Creepy Creep papers and you could see I inked the edges and it does make a difference in this particular case. This, oh, I'm sorry, this is not Creepy Creep. This is part of Tracy's Creep on June kit. I did have some of those pages left over, so I did use that one for that one, okay? Now I'm just gonna move my ink out of the way for now, and I am going to grab my two inch circle punch, and I'm gonna put my hole into the front of my card, and what I'm gonna do See, this is where the little inky part will help. I'm going to take my two inch circle punch and I'm going to center it onto the front of my card. Now, what you can do before I do that, I do this as well. I know that this is three inches wide and I know that half of three inches is one and a half. So what I do sometimes to save my sanity is I will take my ruler and my pencil and I will mark a mark at one and a half. Now see on here, it's not really gonna show too well on camera because the one and a half inch line is on the black part. But maybe if I tilt this just right, there you go, you can see it. There's the one and a half inch mark. And I will take this little arrow, which is on the bottom of my hole punch, my circle punch rather, and I will line that arrow up with the one and a half inch mark so that I know that my circle hole is going to end up right in the center of my card. And now I'll punch out my two inch circle.
okay? So you can see it's relatively in the center of my card, okay? We're gonna put that aside for now. I think I'll take this one and just do this one too. And this one, I will just kind of wing it and line it up and give it a punch. And, well, got lucky with that one. That one ended up in the center as well, okay? So now we have our little pockets prepared. We're not gonna glue them yet because what we are going to do is we are going to make, and where did I put them? I must have put them over here. We are going to trace around our stencils, which, oh, nope, they're right here. Here is my tombstone, I mean my coffin, and I'm gonna grab the smaller of the two tombstone stencils and what we're gonna do is once you cut out your stencil you're gonna take it and you're gonna place it down on your paper and grab a pencil and you're gonna go around the edges of the tombstone which is why I said the drawing may not be perfect on the Kofi but it's not really that important because you're gonna ultimately, you're only gonna use it as a stencil. So as long as you can cut out a straight line, you're good to go. Now, one thing I do wanna remind you, when you trace around, or even when you cut out your original stencil, you're not gonna to wanna to cut on the outside of the line, you're gonna to wanna to cut directly onto the line. And by that I mean, you can see my pencil line. I'm not gonna cut on the outside of it. I'm going to cut right onto it, or even just to the inside of it. Because when, if you know from experience, when you trace around something, it tends to make it just that much bigger. And sometimes that micron of an inch can make a big difference when you're trying to fit something together. So go around and cut right on your line and cut out your coffin like so. Okay, and I'm just gonna cut around down this side. And there we go. And we have our little coffin tag. I'm just gonna grab this paper out of the way. Okay, so we have our coffin and I'm just gonna put my stencil to the side for that. And now for this, maybe I will make it out of this paper, okay? I'll make my tombstone out of the, the pretty lace paper. Now this again, this is from Tracy's Creepy Creep Kit. And I'm just, I know I bumped you. I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna trace around the edges of the tombstone like so. Okay. And let me just trace down that side. I know I'm probably covering up most of what I'm doing. And I'm gonna put my stencil aside again. And I am just going to cut out my tombstone, again, cutting directly onto the line. And go around, the little circle there, like so. You can modify this if you want a flat edge topped to your tombstone, you can do that. And you could even create your own and not bother with the Kofi freebies. And so there we go. Now we have our little tombstone, okay? Now from our freebie words, let me just grab that out. I'm piling things on top of things. 
I can cut out, here lies John, he's gone. Now what you can see is I have made lines across the top and the bottom to help you to cut them straight along those edges. But you can decide how you want to cut along your sides. So I'm just gonna cut that out, okay? And I'm just gonna do a little bit of a better job cutting along that black line there, like so. And then I'm gonna take my little um, cutter. I can't think of what it's called. My little cutter. <laughs> And I'm going to just cut along and straighten out those edges on the sides there where it says, here lies John, he's gone. I just want to make sure that I cut a straight edge on there. And so we have one side done. And then I'm just going to cut along and trim down the other side like so. Okay, this way I know my sides are straight. And then I'm gonna grab my scissor and I'm gonna cut along my black line there. And there I go. I have my saying for my tombstone, okay? Which I can then glue on to the front. Oops, did I just lose it? Yes, I did. Okay, just push this out of the way. Get my little cutter over there and then I'm just going to take and I'm going to ink around the edges you could use black if you want to I just happen to have the vintage photo handy and then I'm going to ink around the edges of my little tombstone okay my little lacy tombstone <laughs> if you want you could always use uh some of the papers in the kit are a little bit darker and they might look a little bit more like concrete or whatever they make. I know they make them out of like marble and stuff, but yeah. So you could pick whatever papers you want to use for your tombstone. And of course, you could use uh, in the Creepy Creep kit, there is a page that looks a little bit wooden and that's what I did make. Uh, my other coffins out of so yeah you can do whatever you want to do it out of I'm just doing mine to be fun okay so here lies John he's gone poor John only lived 30 years and then we have again our coffin and I'm going to ink around the edges of that you can see I didn't cut perfectly some of my pencil lines are still showing but that's okay, because I'm gonna ink over them anyway, like so. Okay, and there we have our coffin and our tombstone, okay? So let's close up our ink and get that out of the way. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add our face onto our coffin. But the reason that we didn't glue our pocket card left is because we are going to use it to create a space. And I'm pulling out these guys. This is from the Keep Creeping portrait kit that Tracy put out. These are some of the little uh, ghosty, ghosty people. And I'm just inking around the edges because I think I'm going to use them. I have prepared one um, little creepy person all ready to put onto one of my coffins. And that's going to go in our other card. But I figured I would do two. Okay. So now what you want to do is you want to kind of center your little coffin card inside of your pocket. And I generally kind of eyeball it. And I know that I'm gonna put glue down here on the bottom. So I'm not gonna line my coffin up all the way down into the pocket, but I'm gonna try my best to center it from side to side. Maybe move it a little bit toward the crease. Cause again, 
I'm going to be putting glue down this side. And now I fold my little pocket closed. And then again, I am going to grab my pencil and very lightly, I am going to trace around the inside of this circle because that is going to help me to line up my photo on my coffin so that I know that when I lay these people down onto the coffin and I close my pocket, or my pocket is already closed, I'm gonna see their heads through the card, okay? Let me move that down a little, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do there. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to take my people, <laughs> my people, and I'm gonna line them up in that little pencil circle, which I'm hoping you're seeing, okay? It's right over there, and I'm gonna glue them down, okay? So I'm just gonna put a little glue on each of their heads, like so, so they'll stay down. And I'm gonna put glue around the edges. Now I may have to trim them once I put them onto the coffin because they might be a little bit too wide for it. But I'm still gonna put my glue all the way around. And again, I'm gonna try and line them up onto my tombstone so that they look like that, okay? And I am just gonna put them aside to dry for a second or so. Make sure they're straight. And again, do a test run. Let's close our pocket and make sure that when I tuck them in, their heads are gonna show, and they will, okay? And then what I'm gonna do while they're drying is I'm going to glue my pocket closed. Okay, so here's your circle. Oh, wait, before I do that, let me just put a little ink around this opening here. I'm just gonna go around and ink it a little so that it doesn't look quite so white. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way around. And go all the way around like so. Okay, so now we have our little opening inked up. And I'm gonna put some glue down here along the bottom of the pocket. And I'm gonna come along and I'm gonna put some glue along the edge of this side. Okay, just make sure we have enough to hold it closed. And I am going to Close up my pocket and in preparation for my coffin card. Now, again, I know that I have a little bit hanging over. Isn't that pretty? I picked a pretty floral paper <laughs> for the back of a coffin. Okay, I'm going to trim that up. And there's just a little bit of someone's arm hanging over there. Okay. Oh, I am so sorry I moved you. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna grab my eraser. This pencil barely has any left. And I'm just gonna erase that little pencil mark that's in the middle there, and a little bit here, and a little bit there. So now we no longer have our pencil on our paper. And then I'm gonna gently just tuck my coffin into my pocket. I don't want to get it stuck in the glue. Don't want to play with it too much. Oh, see? Oh, no, we're good. And you can see that's it's wet. Okay, there we go. Our people are still peeking out of our little opening there. Okay, let's take that out of there because I don't want to get any glue on it. And now we're going to take our little tombstone and we're just going to glue it down to the front of our card, our little pocket. Again, I said this is a relatively simple little idea. Okay, and so we're going to glue our tombstone. You could 
and decorate these to the hilt. But again, I said I just want to make it kind of simple and easy for everyone to do. So here lies John. He's gone. And I probably could have used this on a different piece of paper, but you can still kind of see it there, okay? And then we have, again, our little coffin to tuck in like that, okay? All right, and we have our little people sticking out. Now, do I have another word laying around? Yeah, I do. I have this word, peculiar, but I think it might just be a little too big for the front of the coffin. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to see if this will help. I'm going to round the edges on the little word, and hopefully this will work out okay. And it might just shorten it enough. Mm, not much. But, oh, well, we can put it up there. We can add a little word to the front of our coffin tag. Like so. And we're just going to ink it up so that it kind of stands out. And put some glue on the back. Whoop, whoop, and get that like that. And now we'll make sure we find the section that it fits on. And we'll just glue down our word peculiar onto the front of our little coffin. Okay. And I'm going to tuck it back in just to, again to show you what it looks like, but I'm not going to leave it in there because like I said, our glue is wet and it's not gonna stay right, okay? All right, this is just getting stuck. Let me just show you in this one instead what our tag looks like. This one is dry and so this will fit in a little bit better, okay? Oh, this one's a little bit short, but let's see. Let's try this one. This might see I used my wooden backed paper. Oh, there we go. Okay. Is it going to fit? Yep. You can see our little heads are just picking out through the opening there. This looks like a husband and wife and their mother, or maybe it's a uh, father, mother, daughter. I don't know, but they are peculiar. <laughs> so yeah, you can see how it will fit in like so. And the little head sticks out in the center. All right, so that's a fun one. All right, let's put all of this aside and let's see if maybe we have enough time. We can make another one because this one is almost completely prepared. I've made my coffin, I've made my pocket, I have made my tombstone, I have, oh, what the heck did I do there? I have my coffin for the front, okay? Oh, and I use the same phrase, here lies John, he's gone. Okay, well the other one says, here lies Fred, he's dead. <laughs> we could have done that one too, okay? But yeah, so here lies Freddy's dead. Here lies John. He's gone. Okay. And what we will do, same as we did before, we're going to stick our coffin in. And again, I'm just going to push it closer to the crease than I am to the outside. And I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to trace around a little circle, trace around that circle, that opening, like so. Okay. And then I'm going to take my lady, again, she's from the Keep Creeping Portraits, and I'm going to line her up in the circle. I hope you can see that. And I'm going to test her out. I'm going to do a test run. I'm going to make sure her face is showing. Yep. So the top of her hat is going to lie at the top of the circle. I'm hoping you can see that line there. Okay. And we're going to glue her down. 
All right, and let's put some glue, especially on these little outer parts of her hat. And we'll glue all the way around like so. And is my glue going to give me a hard time? It is, it's starting to act up. I'm gonna take her and I'm gonna line her hat up with the top of that circle and try to get her in the center of the circle like so, okay. Oh, maybe we could use our Here Lies Fred, he's dead, on the inside of here. Eh, she doesn't look like a Fred. <laughs> Instead, I've already prepared the word boo. So maybe we'll just put that there, like she's sitting there and she's telling you, oh, boo. She looks like she has a little bit of an attitude anyway. <laughs> well, she's dead, I guess she can do whatever she wants. All right, my glue is acting up. I will fix that. Let's just add boo right there. Doesn't even have to be in the center. Okay, and let me just grab the pin that I use for my glue and try and clean out the glue because I am going to need it to glue my pocket closed. But again, I inked to the edges. I didn't ink the inside of my opening. So I'm just gonna go around and I'm gonna do that real fast. And there we go. Whoop. And I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna glue the edges of my pocket closed. Oopsie, there's my glue. Okay. I'm just gonna do the outer edge and the bottom edge. And I'm gonna flip it over. Whoop. And I'm gonna push out on the glue. I'm gonna glue that down. And again, I don't wanna push this in too far or too hard, but I do wanna make sure that our lady, her face is gonna show, and it does. Okay, see, I don't wanna get it stuck. Okay, and you can see her face through the opening there. And then I'm just gonna glue down my headstone, my tombstone, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm gonna glue that to the front of my little pocket. And maybe I'll put this one over to the side a little bit because maybe I can decorate here with another word or who knows what else, but I'm leaving myself some space to decorate. And then I'm just going to erase the marks from the pencil around the circle, like so. And then we have another little tombstone pocket. And I'm just gonna tuck her in gently. Now you could, of course, and I didn't do that because again, I'm trying to make this a simple little craft. See, there you go. She fits right into her little pocket. I'm gonna take her out though because the glue is wet. Let's see, did these guys, did this ever dry enough? Oh, let me just put this before my puppy eats it, the cover to my pencil. Let's see. Sometimes if you don't cut them just right, they are a little too, well. oh no, see, there we go. Our glue is dry, dry enough. And we got that one too. So here lies Fred, he's dead. These are the ones I made before. You could put um, plastic into the window openings if you wanted to. Um, that's up to you. I didn't do that again because I did wanna make it a relatively quick and simple craft for us for you to use the freebie. And there we go. We have all of our little, um, again, I'm not gonna tuck her in because she's wet. I mean, the pocket's wet. And then what I'll do is what I should do, should have done in the beginning. I'll just take my bone folder in and I'll go around and I'll make sure that everything's glued down and straight and make some room in there for the pocket. I mean, for the tag. 
But yeah, you could put plastic in the window openings if you wanted to. See, that makes a little bit of a difference there. Let's see if this one's dry enough. But I didn't do that because I wanted this, again, to be relatively quick and simple. Let me open that one up, too, and let's see if we can get our little blue lady in there a little bit better. But yeah, that's an option, too. And like I said, you can go back and you can really decorate these if you want to. And I may come back with some of them decorated a little bit more than they are now. And here's my other one, which this one I used one of the photos. I didn't bother to cut it out. I just left it as a photo. And that again tucks in here like so. So there you go. There is our little tombstone tag and our little pocket. I mean, our little coffin tag and our little pocket. And I'd like if you would go over and grab your freebie on Kofi, which will be up uh, hopefully by today. I don't know. My printer's given us a little bit of a, a tummy grumble, so we'll have to see. All right. So in the meanwhile, I'm going to send you lots of love and big hugs and ask you please to remember to like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you real soon. And I want to say hi to my friend Celeste. And yeah, I will link the kits. Um, and I think, I think there's only one kit that I, no, I did use the two kits. I used Creepy Creep and Keep Creeping Portraits. And so, yeah, I will link those kits in the description box below. And again, thank you for watching. And I hope you'll come back soon. Okay. See ya. Bye. Thank you.